One of the big pieces of news at the 2017 SNEC is that the final regulatory approval has been given for the deal between Germany's MUNS, uh, Shenhua and Shanghai Electric for the supply of one of MUNS's SIGS fabs. Dieter MUNS is the CEO of MUNS and he joins me now. Dieter, um, what's the significance of yesterday's announcement? The significance is that this deal is now really becoming a real project. Before, what we announced in January was that we signed the contracts. But you know in China, signing a contract is one thing, but getting the final approvals from government authorities is the other thing. And now really the news was that all these government approvals are there. So that means we can proceed and start the project. And what do you think this supply deal and bringing in these big companies like Shenhua and Shanghai Electric means for thin film in China? Of course, we think this is now a really breakthrough coming in the thin film technology that we have this big project with very strong partners and there's other Synfilm projects also as well that are developed in China right now. So we believe there will be a change in the whole industry coming in the next years. First of all in the technology area that there is more and more interest in the let's say newer technology in the Synfilm, especially in the CIGS. But also we think there's a change that different players come into the field, especially the big state-owned companies like our partners, the Xinhua Group and also Shanghai Electric and also the others like CNBM and others who are investing now in Synfilm technology. And it's not just an equipment supply deal, there's also an R&D component. What can you tell me about that? So I think the, the reason why it's not just an equipment deal is of course this big state-owned company, they don't, they are not interested to build just one line and that's it, right? They have a big interest to really go into gigawatt scale of capacity, of course. If you look on Shenhua Group, it's one of the biggest energy suppliers in China. There is a big need for them to replace their coal-fired power plant capacities to renewable and this is why they decided not only to invest in one manufacturing line but they also want to be involved in the future R&D. That's why we established an R&D joint venture together. The reason for that is that there is a much higher budget now for the R&D for further developing technology in CIGS. There's still a lot of things to do in cost reduction and efficiency increase and we decided together to do this. There will be the line in Germany, which we owned before. This will become part of this equipment joint venture. There will also be another R&D line, which we will install here in Beijing next year. Also in these two lines, will only have the purpose to develop further the technology. And then in parallel, there will be a first 306 megawatt production line also in China. But this is only the first step, so that's why these partners now not only want to be customers, they really want to be involved in the technology development. And Finform production has generally been understood as being a capex intensive industry. What are you doing to reduce the capex? That's true. Of course, the Synfilm technology today is relatively expensive of the capex. If you look, there's high, very high advanced technology there for vacuum deposition equipment, which is relatively expensive. So, but this is also the purpose of this R&D joint, joint venture, really to drive down the capex cost by two means. One is the localization of equipment. That's also why we established the so-called equipment joint venture here in China. That means the future projects will also use this local company to localize equipment to be built in China in order to bring down the cost. But on the other hand, there's also a very big opportunity on the technology side to drive down the cost. Just to give you an example, when we started our activities in 2010, the most expensive machine, which is the CIGS, the position machine, had a tech time of five minutes. Today we are at two minutes. And the target is, of course, to go down to one minute. So there's a big, big impact also from the technology side to drive down the capex. And there was a lot of pressure on you personally to do this deal after five years of investment into the Seeds Fab. But it's not just a straightforward deal. How do you feel with uh, what you're walking away with? Of course, there was a lot of pressure. Of course, we invested for many, many years in this technology without having significant orders. So that was also the reason why we partnered with Shanghai Electric early last year already to give us some more time to really develop this technology with a strong partner in China, which is Shanghai Electric. This is why Shanghai Electric became a shareholder in our company, which was also very welcome for us. Of course, we believe without such a strong local company, it's almost impossible to develop the huge Chinese market. Mm -hmm. So therefore now, and the whole deal was possible. Of course, Shanghai Electric also helped us a lot to make this relatively complex structure together with Shenhua. And Shenhua is also a very big company here in China. It's a state-owned company, and you can imagine it's not that easy to make this kind of joint venture contracts with big state-owned companies and therefore it was very helpful to also have a strong partnership with Shanghai Electric. 
And it's not only Shanghai Electric and Shenhua who are investing in FinFilm in uh, China at the moment. CNBM and a number of big companies are investing. What does this mean for FinFilm in China? So we definitely believe that SinFilm will have a very big future here in China, of course. SinFilm has really a high cost reduction potential and this is what we could show our potential partners and customers. Otherwise they never would invest such a big money in the line and also in the R&D joint ventures. Of course it's only the, let's say, yeah, the future potential what they're looking for. And you have to see if this kind of big state-owned companies from the energy sector now stepping into solar, which is relatively late if you look what's around here, right? So they have to go in something new. It doesn't make sense to them to do the same thing than all the smaller companies doing in the crystalline. So therefore they are really looking on the tech for a technology that has still a potential. And of course it costs money to develop this technology, but this is what they are willing to do. And that's why for us this is an ideal partnership. So is MUNS going to lose its SIGS Fab IP? No, we are not losing it. We are bringing the IP into this joint venture structures. We are still partner in this joint ventures. We are still shareholders in this joint ventures, different scale. So of course there's always a risk in this kind of deals. But for us on the other hand, it, we thought it's also a really big opportunity, which we believe it's worth to take this risk. And of course it's now up to us and up to our customers to control this risk. We did a very intensive contractual work. You can imagine it took us a several months to discuss about all the license and technology and IP uh, contracts. But we believe we have now a really good and a fair deal with our partners.